Uh, we absolutely do welcome it. It's uh, basically a reset of the uh, Section 501 policy that takes it back to how it was before December 2014 when the former Australian government changed the rules down to 12 months of sentencing, etc., to um, greatly increase the number of New Zealanders and other nationals who were deported from Australia for what became far more minor crimes than people would expect that would warrant deportation. Is this exactly what New Zealand was seeking in regards to this issue or does it fall somewhat short of what the former New South Wales, oh, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern was seeking? Um, I'm not across the full detail, I've only seen media reports, but my understanding is that it goes a long way towards what would be a more reciprocal um, comparative between what New Zealand and other nations do when deporting criminals compared to what Australia has been doing in the recent years. So it takes into account New Zealanders' long-term residency in Australia, their family ties to Australia, the age at which they arrived in Australia, particularly as minors, um, and it wasn't their decision to migrate to Australia. So uh, generally it seems on the, on the first glance that it's a much more um, positive and far more humane response to the Section 501 policy. Have you been able to gauge the reaction so far in New Zealand to this news? Well, certainly the new Prime Minister, Chris Hipkins, is pleased with what he's seen from the announcement. And um, from my point of view, uh, residing in New Zealand, um, the discussions that OzKiwi had with the um, Citizenship Minister and Andrew Giles, the Australian Minister, in November of last year. This is uh, concrete evidence of his decision to review the situation, particularly for New Zealanders facing deportation, and have a much more humane response to their situation. And he said he was going to be reviewing cases, and he has obviously reviewed the policy and come to the decision that today's announcements have led to, and we are very pleased with what has been announced. It's look, moving forward from March 3 will be a much more fairer, much more humane consideration of the cases for deportation than the former government in Australia have been Ge doing from 2014. Given the long-standing links between the two countries, are you, Oz Kiwi, and also the New South Wales government pushing for more recognition of New Zealanders' rights in Australia? Mm -hmm. Yes, the New Zealand government, not the New South Wales. Um, oh, we're still <laughs> a smaller country to the east of Australia. Yes, I'm, very, um, I'm sorry. Similar population size, I understand. <laughs> um, different leaders. Yes, I do. I think that this is obviously a very positive step in the right direction. And considering that there has been immense harm done both between the uh, national go the government's relationships and the people's relationships and just the response to the cruelty of the Section 501 policy and its detrimental impact on New Zealanders. It has adversely affected New Zealanders far more than any other nationality because as a cohort New Zealanders are allowed to reside on a special category visa and reside long term and work here indefinitely with but they do not have a pathway to citizenship and that's been the issue. Uh, particularly since February 2001, their visa has been temporary, has no pathway to citizenship, and therefore there's perhaps 200, 300,000 New Zealanders who really don't have a pathway to citizenship and no protection from this rule change. And with the change in December 2014 going down to 12 months of cumulative and retrospective sentencing, it was particularly a low bar to meet the deportation criteria. And that's what's changing now. There's a much more humane, much more common sense approach to it. But uh, unfortunately, there's been 15,000 New Zealanders deported since the end of 2020-14. So a number of them will not be able to see their family, their children in Australia. They can't return unless they're given a special visa exemption to do so. And it has caused a lot of harm, a lot of heartache, a lot of family separation, particularly that is corrosive and damaging. And yeah, that that's something else that needs to be addressed. But for today, we're very pleased with what has been announced by Minister Giles, and we thank him for his humanity and compassion in this situation.